We want to thank you for reminding us to come into your house this morning, O oh God, that we may be blessed by you, O oh God. And Jehovah God, as we sit down to listen to your word, we pray that you shall open our hearts, O oh God, that you may speak to us in regards to the season and the time that you are in. We love you and we honor you, and we pray this believing and trusting in Jesus' name. Amen. May we have our seats as you say hi to your neighbor. Yes, say hi to them. Amen, amen. Buona sifiwe. My name is Isaac Kongo. I'm born again this morning. And I love the Lord. I want to thank the Lord for giving us such a time, another Sunday, to come in his presence that he may speak to us. It is indeed a great blessing because it is not a must that we be there. Buona sifiwe. But it has taken the grace of God and the great masses of God that we are there today. We continue with our ears thing that uh, we are saying, or the Spirit of the Lord is speaking to us and asking us to give careful thoughts to our ways. And we continue um, with the theme from the leadings of being led from the book of Haggai. And today... The theme of this Sunday, we are saying, the Lord will provide, or God will provide. God will provide. This is a message that uh, many people may love. Many people may uh, desire to be told what God will do unto their life. How God will provide unto them. How God will open the doors and the, uh, and the, and the windows of heaven that he may give you treasures of the world. But again, most of the time, we forget about the concept of receiving, of the concept of the Lord providing unto us, because nothing just happens. Nothing just comes our way. Praise the name of the Lord. And when we read the book of Haggai from chapter number one, we see the people in their time having or suffering from lack. Why? Because they had no right priorities in the things they, that they were doing. And they had gone uh, to a point of lacking even the most basic things. That is peace. And um, they did not get satisfaction in the things that they were doing. And so they lacked what could be very important unto them. And when you read the book of uh, Haggai, chapter, uh, verses number, chapter number 1 from verses number 6, the Bible is saying that they were, uh, they were doing so much, yet they were getting so little. They had an expectation of receiving from the Lord, but they were not getting it. And many times, this happens to us. And most of the time, we blame the economy, we blame the things that are around us. Most of the time, we'll say that the economy is not performing very well. And yet, we are not looking into ourselves and investigate ourselves and see where the problem is. Is, praise the name of the Lord. And so these people were living in judgment. They were not doing things light. And the Lord has turned away from them. Yet they didn't know. It is so unfortunate that many of us live in such situations. Many things that we lack in this life, we lack because we are not in the light way with the Lord. Why? What we need in this life has been provided by the Lord. As the, uh, as the word says. And many times we ask God questions. What is happening to us? What am I not doing right? That I'm not receiving that which you have promised. It also happened during the time of Haggai. And the people were suffering. People didn't have that which they needed so much. They were doing much. And the Bible says in chapter number, in verses number 10. Therefore the heavens above have withdrew. Uh, the dew and the earth has with it withheld its produce. They were getting nothing because they did not do as the Lord expect them, expected them to do. As it happens, it is 16 years ever since they had laid the foundation of the temple. 
The Lord expected that he would work with them in rebuilding the temple. But they left the work and the temple was in ruins. It was not pleasing. It was not looking good. Praise the name of the Lord. The work of the Lord was not looking good. You know, and, and many times we, are, we, we, we get into this temptation. We want to co concentrate so much on what we do to ourselves, not what we do to the Lord, not what we do to our neighbors, not what we do to those that are, that, that are, uh, are around us. You know, it is me and me. It is you and you. You don't want to think about the other person. You don't want to think about what the Lord is commanding you to do with what he has entrusted you with. Because most of the time you are not given just for yourself. The Lord does not just give you money for yourself. The Lord does not just give you that job only for yourself. You know, the blessing of the Lord comes for us and those that are around us. Praise the name of the Lord. And so these people had forgotten this simple concept of working and doing what the Lord wanted them to do. And because they did not do this, the Bible says, that the Lord sent drought. The heavens shut. There was no rain in the land. Praise the name of the Lord. And so they didn't enjoy the grace of provision. They didn't have that which they expected or that which they needed at that moment. Praise the name of the Lord. Prophet Jeremiah speaks in Jeremiah chapter number 8. The people of God, we are going through the same thing. They had disobeyed the Lord and they were taken captive. And Jeremiah speaks with a lot of pain in his heart. And he asks the Lord, we have been through a moment, a season of harvest, yet we have harvested nothing. We have got nothing in the land, all in the, in the, in the harvest, in our shambas. We did not harvest anything. And Jeremiah asks the Lord, what is wrong with us? Jeremiah looked at his people and saw they were even sick and asked the Lord, why are these people not getting healed? Even simple diseases, even simple colds, they are not getting healed. And so Jeremiah asked the Lord, what is wrong with us? Do we not have a physician among us? Don't we have doctors among us, yes, they had, but they were not getting the healing. Praise the name of the Lord. Jeremiah asked, what is wrong with us? And I'll ask the same question. What is wrong with us? What is wrong with you? And what is wrong with me? Haggai says that our priorities are wrong. We are not doing what we are supposed to do for us to receive. So the heavens was shut. There was no rain. There was no dew from heaven. And people are suffering. Praise the name of the Lord. Whatever thing that we need is within us. Whatever thing that you need for the grace of provision is around you. It is in the obedience of the Lord. Obedience that comes from your heart. If you obey, it shall be given unto you. Jeremiah asked, is there no balm in Gilead? In Jeremiah chapter number 8. You know, the tree that used to heal them was amongst their town. It was amongst them, but it was not healing them even then. You know, and Haggai is saying, whatever that you need to do for you to get what you need, it is not far from you. It is raised in the obedience of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. In verses number 12, the Bible says that the people obeyed. When the message of the Lord came to them, they obeyed the Lord. And I think Haggai is one of the most lucky prophets who prophesied and people heard the message. And I want to pray that today, as this theme is coming to us, we'll act in the obedience of the word of the Lord. 
and that the Lord shall visit us once again and heal our lives. Praise the name of the Lord. And at the obedience of the word of the Lord, the Lord spoke to Haggai and he spoke to all the people and he assured them that from today I'll be together with you. At the obedience of the word of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. He is giving them an assurance that from today you will become my business. You'll be what you will eat, what you will clothe, and everything that you'll ever need. I'll be there for you. I think this is a great assurance. If the Lord assures you that he'll be together with you, I think you'll not fear anything. You'll fear no evil. This is the assurance that we need to have. It is the same assurance that David speaks in Psalms chapter number 23 that we love so much. That the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. Praise the name of the Lord. This is great assurance. But it comes out of the obedience of the word of the Lord. And also the decrees of the Lord. And so the people obeyed the, the Lord. And uh, we see the Lord again speaking unto them. And now they are having a conversation on how they are going to rebuild the temple of the Lord. How they are going to resume the, 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 the works. And the Lord speaks through his prophets and gives them a picture of the end product of the temple. And he tells them, the glory of this temple that we are building shall be greater than the former a temple that was built by the king Solomon. And at this point, the people who had seen the temple of David, of uh, the temple of uh, King Solomon, we are crying. They were in pain because they had seen the foundation that had been laid for this temple. The foundation that was, was, that was laid was not even equal to what King Solomon had done. And so they were crying. Yet the young men who had not seen the temple we are dancing around. They were praising the Lord that finally we are building the temple. But the old men were crying because they would not compare the two of them. Praise the name of the Lord. But again, the encouragement is coming. The encouragement comes from the book that we've just read, from the leadings of today. The Lord tells them that everything that you ever needed, it is mine. Including the glory that shall be filled or that shall fill this temple, it is mine. The Bible says in the book of Ephesians that the Lord is Jesus is before all things, and in him all things hold together. And so, Haggai is saying that the Lord shall shake the heavens and the sea and all round, and it shall come to the obedience of this temple. Why? Because all things are mine. Everything that is in the air, everything that is in the land, everything that is in the sea, it is mine. And because I am the Lord, I'm declaring this today, that everything shall come to the obedience of the subject of this house. Praise the name of the Lord. Why? Because he holds all things together. And these words came so prophetically about the coming of Jesus Christ, who is the king of the, all the glory, who was to come and worship in the same temple. He who holds the power over the sea, over the land, and over every other thing was to come and worship in that temple. All the glory was to come there. And so the Lord again encourages them. And at this time, when the Lord is speaking these things, you know these guys are coming from a season of lack. They are coming from a season of economy uh, crisis. They didn't have anything. You know. Yet the Lord is assuring them all these things. You know, it might be too bad, but at the word of the Lord, everything shall be well. Praise the name of the Lord. The Lord is telling them, I know where you're coming from. I know that it has not been so good. But gold and silver, everything that you ever needed in this life, it is mine. It is not your business to know where it will come from. You just need to stand still and believe in me. And I shall give it 
unto you. Praise the name of the Lord. You know many times we struggle trying to keep ourselves, trying to make things work, yet we forget that we have the Lord. We forget the owner of all these things that we need. I want to remind you today, as much as you may feel that you're so powerful, as much as you may feel that you have it all, you cannot do anything without the Lord. Anything that you have that has been entrusted to you by the King of Glory, by the Lord, our Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. So the Lord speaks and tells these people that gold and silver is mine and anything that you ever needed and even the glory that shall come into this house, it is mine. And so I shall bring it to pass. Buenas fuesana. Let us continue trusting in the Lord. You know, the, the Lord loves us so much. And it is in his heart that we prosper. It is in the heart of the Lord that you prosper. And so he has everything that we ever needed for prosperity. For your growth. For your ministry. For the service that you give into the house of the Lord. Anything that you ever needed. He is he's going to facilitate you until you get where he wants you to get. Praise the name of the Lord. And so the king of glory speaks in the book of Luke, where we have read. And the Lord is asking, why are you anxious? You know, why? Why are you so much worried about the things that you go through every day? You know, and he says, Look at the bird of the sky. Look at the birds. You know, they, they don't plant. They don't put food in the stores. But I, the Lord, feed them. I, the Lord, give them everything that they need. And he asked, what is more important? Is it the food that you eat or your life? What is important? You know, the Lord is saying, that life is more important than all those things. And I think about the bird of the, the birds of the sky. I don't think they have anything else apart from their life. The last is God's business. You know, the rose again speaks and says, look at the flowers in the field. Some are so beautiful. Some have got the best scents. You know, and, and, and if you observe during Valentine, when people are given flowers, they always smell at them. You know, they want to feel that, that can smell, you know. Because the Lord is saying, those things don't even give themselves that smell. They don't give them that, themselves those beauty. You know, I, the Lord, gives them. And he asked, what is important? Is it the birds of the sky, the flowers in the field, or you, my people? What is important? And he says, you are more important than those things. So, why are you worried? Why are you worried? I, the Lord, will provide everything that you ever needed. Praise the name of the Lord. Indeed, we serve a great God. A God that loves us so much that he's ready to give everything just for you. But again, there is a principle. We don't just live carelessly and expect the Lord to do things for us. You know, we also must stand on our position, even as we expect from the Lord. Many times, you'll go through stuff in life and you'll keep on quoting the verses. You'll keep saying that the Lord will provide unto us. The Lord will open the stores in heaven. But if you do not do as the Bible says, these things will not come to you. Praise the name of the Lord. Jesus said, Seek ye the kingdom of God first, and every other thing shall follow you. Buenas Fuesana. I know we've got needs, and every minute we ask the Lord to give us these and these. We have prayer items on our desk that we are praying every time. But what are you doing about it? Do you just pray and stay around? Do you just ask the Lord to give unto you, and you're just there waiting without doing anything? I want to ask you, let us do as the Lord says. Let us seek the kingdom of God first. 
The Lord has commanded us to do a lot of things. You know, are you doing them? Are you standing in the gap? In the ministry? In the church? What are we doing? Where are you serving? Do you just come in the church and go? You know? We need to think about it once again. We need to work for the Lord. And that the Lord shall provide unto us. Praise the name of the Lord. The Lord shall give you healing. The Lord shall give you uh, uh, food. The Lord shall give you uh, jobs. The Lord will give you everything that you ever need. But it is at the obedience of his word. Haggai says, at the obedience of the word of God, the Lord confirmed to them again that I'm going to be with you. Praise the name of the Lord. I know we want the Lord to walk with us. I know we want the Lord to give us healing. I know that the Lord, we want the Lord to do a lot of things to us and even to our children, to our parents, and to those that we care for. But what are we doing? Praise the name of the Lord. Jeremiah spoke and asked, is there no physician amongst you? The physician is there. The healing is there. The harvest is there. Everything that you need is there. But it will act or it will yield at the obedience of the Lord. I want to thank God for the theme that we have for this year. That we need to give, to give, uh, or, or to, uh, to give careful thoughts to our ways. How have you been doing things that regard to the Lord? We need to reconsider them. And I want to say that uh, the word of the Lord that does not just come. You know, the Lord does, does not just give us uh, just a theme. You know, it comes because there is a purpose it wants to fulfill amongst us. And I want to believe the Lord has looked into our hearts. And he has considered it well for us to consider our ways. To give us careful, to give careful thoughts to our ways. And again, in his ways, we walk. Praise the name of the Lord. The Lord is so good and he loves us so much. And today he's asking us to turn again unto him that we may enjoy the grace of provision. I know you have a lot of wants in your life. There are many things that you're trusting God for. But even as we trust him, we need to work for him. Even as we expect him to give us, we must work for him. The people during Haggai's time had an expectation but at that time, the Lord shut the heavens. They had nothing. They didn't have peace with what they have. Why? They were not doing according to the word of God. It is a season again to stand and walk in his ways. It is a time to look unto your heart, unto your soul, unto your things that you do, and think and ask yourself, am I right with God? Am I doing what the Lord expects me to do? What is it in my heart? What is it in my life that I need to change? What is it that I need again to turn back to the Lord and ask him to again confirm to me that he'll be together with me? Praise the name of the Lord. The Lord is so good. The Lord is so loving. The Lord has got everything that we need, but we need to turn back to him in prayer, and again in this ministry. And I want to ask that we may take a moment or two and reflect on our lives. How has it been? How have you walked with the Lord? For how long have you prayed for an item and it is not coming to pass in your life? For sometimes you have prayed. You have even quoted the word of God. You have quoted many verses. But things are not happening into your life. Why is it happening this? I ask you, you take a moment and reflect to your life. Even as we go before the Lord in prayer, as the worship team leads us in a worship song, that the Lord may again visit us. That again may the Lord confirm to us that he'll be together with us. That every time is a harvest time, we shall be in a position to harvest. That the Lord shall provide unto us in the situations and in the things that we are in. Because he's a faithful God. 
Praise and worship, just give us a chorus as we reflect on the goodness of the Lord and the mercies of the Lord. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we honor you this afternoon. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we honor you. Let's be on our feet as we sing this song. Lord, Narudi, Narudi, Okutoka Bali, Sa, 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 Umi, Baba, Sa, Sa, Narudi, Narudi, Narudi Narudi Yesu kutoka mbali Sa 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 umikaribi Baba baba Narudi Narudi tena Narudi, Narudi, Baba Kutoka Bali, Sa 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 Baba Narudi. We have trusted in ourselves so much. We have thought for many times and many days that you can provide for us. But today we come to the understanding that it is at the obedience of the Lord that the Lord needs again to confirm to us that he'll be together with us. As we consider our ways, may we repent before the Lord. May we ask the Lord again to be together with us, to walk with us, in the life that we are in. We have prayed for too long for one item. But things are not happening as we may expect. Just like the times of our guy, they didn't have such function. They didn't get such function in the things that they did. But that the obedience of the Lord, the Lord confirmed to them again. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we honor you. Narudi tena Baba Hallelujah Kutoka Baba Sasa Sasa Nikari Baba Could you be there? You know you're not born again. Or maybe you were born again on you, and you backslided. The Lord is giving you this time to come back unto him. Are you there? As we sing that call us the last time, the Lord is giving you this moment to again come back unto him and he's ready to receive you. Yes, Naludi Tena Baba Naludi Wana Yesu Kutoka Bali Sasa Yesu Sasa Uni Karibish Baba Narudi tena Narudi Narudi Wana Yesu kutoka mbali 
sa sa yesu sa sa unikari bishwana sa sa naru Jesus Christ, and so that is what we are going to do. What's your name? Rosiana. Rosiana. So kindly mention her name before God, and ask the Lord to journey with her in this new journey that she has already started. It's okay, just bring it. Thank you. So just pray for her. You will, if you, you will repeat after me, Rosiana. You say, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus. I confess. I that I am a sinner, I am a sinner. And, today, and today I ask you to forgive me my sins, to wash me with the blood of your son Jesus Christ, and make me your own. Write my name, Write my name in, the book of life, in the book of life, for I have surrendered my life, I have surrendered my life unto, you only. unto you only, for this is my prayer of faith, for this is my prayer of faith. in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Eternal God, our loving Father, we are so grateful that you have spoken to us this morning. Thank you for calling Rosiana to you. We thank you for enabling her to surrender her life to you in salvation. And you are so faithful that whenever we come to you, you never leave us on our own. And how we pray that in the same way that you have convicted her, that you may journey with her. May your Holy Spirit be her teacher teaching her all the things of God and revealing to her how she can be able to walk in a way that is going to honor and please you. May you journey with her, for you are faithful enough to do so. We call her blessed, and we know that those that are in Christ Jesus are more than conquerors. And this is her portion in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. Amen. Rosiana, be upstanding. Let's give a wonderful clap to the Lord. It's okay to greet the congregation. You can tell us uh, more about yourself, how you have felt now that you're born again, and if you belong to a district, which district it is. You can turn around. Praise God, church. Amen. Praise God once again. Kwa majina naitwa Rose Ann Mutio Mutavi, kutoka Machakos. Ah, nice. Na nimeolewa Nyeri County, Karatina. Nilikuwa wa district ya madhaidi, karatina inaitwa nimesahau jina juu sijakuwa huko for long time. Mm -hmm. Are you here in Nairobi now? Yeah, hata nilijaribu kuingia kwa district ya hapa ya South Sea. Oh, South Sea, South B district. Yeah. Sawa, sawa. You are most welcome. God bless you. Do, nimeona already there is someone waiting for you to receive you. And I can give you a hug on their 